right, today for you I'm going to be making a chicken soup that I've adapted from the Cartini meal plan. You'll notice I have two pots here. This one I'll be making a single serving for a child who is um, on the meal plan and this one here will be for the rest of the family and you'll see when I get into it I'll be measuring precise ingredients for this one and then using the rest for this part over here. Um, one thing I like about this particular recipe is the fact that we can all sit down to dinner, we're all having the same meal and my child is much more relaxed knowing that everything was precisely measured just from the Cartini meal plan. Measuring out a tablespoon. And then I'm going to measure out a quarter cup of the onion and put that in. And then one clove of garlic. And I'm just going to let that soften. I just put in a little salt to let it sweat out a little bit. This one, I'm just going to measure. This is the big pot. Take all those and put them in. And then I'm going to measure out my meat portion to put in here. So I have the sausage and the chicken, and I'm going to kind of make a balance of both and then put it right in. And I'm going to do kind of half of each. I'm just putting in the, the protein now, the sausage, and I'm breaking it up a little bit. You can break it up with a, a spoon when it gets in here. So now I was going to open up the tomatoes, and I'll show you what I'll, I'll do with those. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing, in the large measuring cup, I'm mixing the diced tomatoes, and then I'm also mixing the fire-roasted tomatoes together, stirring them up, and then what I'll do from here is then I'll measure out the... Um, needed amount for the single serving and then I'll use the remaining in the, the large pot. So if you remember I did a, a quarter cup of the onions and in the meal plan we need one and a half cups of vegetables so then I'll do one cup of the tomatoes and then I'm going to do another half cup of the zucchini a quarter cup excuse me but I could do it any way that you'd like to your taste to be. We just like it a little more tomatoey and then you'll have the one and a half completed vegetables in here. So this is a cup of the blended tomatoes. And this one, because I'm only making a single serving, is going a little quicker than the big pot. So I'm going to wait one more minute or two to make sure these are cooked up a little more. But in the meantime, these guys are in the little pot ready to go. So again, I'm just taking the remain remainder of the two cans of tomatoes that I mixed up and I'm putting that all in. I am now taking the remainder of the broth and the water and then I'm going to add it to the big pot that's now kind of on a slow simmer right here. And then this one, I've just added it and this is going to be coming up in a, in a few. Mm -hmm. I have to measure out the pasta, the orzo. Um, and then we'll put in the zucchini and it's just right now 
coming back to a boil in my little pan. So then I'm going to add my quarter cup zucchini. Okay. Now I'm going to put the rest of the zucchini in the big pot. And I just used two small zucchinis. And now I need to cover the cooked pasta. Pour that into the soup. I'm just going to taste this before I serve it up. I want to make sure everything's good. Oh, that is good. I'm going to throw in a little bit of parsley. And that was just a few, like a teaspoon. Stir it one more time. And we're done. So now we've completed our soup. And to finish off our meal, we'll need one cup of salad greens, which means any sort of salad vegetables you'd like, a tablespoon of the Cartini approved meal plan salad dressing, and an eight ounce glass of whole milk to complete the meal. <laughs>